Uh, now I've been, I've been doing this movie where I have to, uh, it's called Being Human, and I have to uh, change to five different historical periods, and I have it this, this way because I'm playing a Roman slave, which is a very strange thing to do. Weren't you supposed to, at one time, or did they talk to you about doing the Joker in Batman? Yes, they did. <laughs> but all of a sudden, Jack showed up, and I was history. <laughs> hey, Robbo, kiss it goodbye, boy! <laughs> Go off, make your little poet movie. I'll be tagging the checks. <laughs> <laughs> Look out right there. Here we go right now, Robin. Why is it? Hey, make a cartoon voice. Maybe then you'll get nominated. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to thank the Academy. Uh, no, I think... <laughs> um, Did I've... you ever want to play a villain? Or have oh, yeah, it'd be wonderful. I mean, I think the closest thing I came was in um, the Kenneth Branagh movie where I played a slightly damaged person. Yeah, villains are, you know, they're wonderful because you can play, we all have that side of ourselves, but to really acknowledge it and get it out yeah. is quite, I mean, that's why they're always extraordinary. It's fascinating. People are fascinated by it. Do, do you ever watch a movie like, uh, like Above the Law or something with Seagal and want to do that? Kung Fu Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Look out! Those eggs! <laughs> I like badly dubbed Kung Fu movies. <laughs> Hurry, you and your friends, get out of here. The village is following you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would love to play in one of those movies. I mean, like, when you see those, I mean, those action heavy-duty yeah. features, drop it. Yeah. Or Texas Chainsaw Circumcision. Yes, I think they're... <laughs> I think they're, you know... I don't, I don't know if I could really be believable as those guys. You know, there's reasons that Arnold is, who plays those great, and Steven Seagal and those guys who are incredible. I mean, I feel like the first time it'd be, stand back. <laughs> ow! <laughs> ow! Ow! Stop it! <laughs> Get out! Stand back! I'll sue! <laughs> Didn't somebody get hurt in Awakenings when you all were making it? Oh, yeah, I broke De Niro's nose, yeah. Look at me, I'm Raging Mork. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very sad moment. It was an accident. It was one of these things. Sure it was. <laughs> it was we were supposed to do a, a scene where I was supposed to restrain him, and all of a sudden my elbow came up and hit his nose, and there was a noise like a chicken bone breaking. And ever then, I saw all of his roles passing before me. You know? <laughs> I saw him in Taxi Driver going, Hey, are you looking at me? No. I swear to God, man. And I, I hit the ground. I go, oh, please. Oh, forgive me, Bobby. All of a sudden, the Godfather, not a man of say his sorry go. <laughs> it, was a, it was a frightening moment. because he And uh, basically, he said that his, his doctor actually said that I fixed his nose, and, which was oh, great. Thank you. <laughs> I put it back in place after Raging Bull. So now he's, he's like a wasp, which is fabulous. <laughs> of all the movies you've done, which one have you had the most fun doing? I think Toys. Toys has been the most fun because it's such a strange, surreal movie. That was so much fun to work with Barry again after Good Morning Vietnam. The, I mean, Awakenings was quite wonderful because it was, I mean, it was a very deeply moving experience because of meeting someone like Oliver Sacks, where you got to meet incredible people, mm -hmm. like Shane, who was the person with physical Tourette's. Physical Tourette's is like... Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I mean, you had the same reaction De Niro had. When, <laughs> you know, Bob has a slight circle of influence. And, and when Shane met him, it was like, hey, 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 hi, 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 how are you today? And, and that was exciting to see that alone. <laughs> but I think movies like Toys, I mean, it's, it's so much fun, but it's in this, it's, it's another world. And Aladdin, I mean, all the impressions and stuff, that had to be fun. Oh, it's a blast. I was like, it was something that I did is, you know, just for the sheer joy of it. It's wonderful to do something It gets back to our original point and before we go to commercial. <laughs> why I did it was basically for my children, you know, that there would be something for them. And toys I did for them, too, that there's something that you do that goes on, like Hook. Yeah. It's wonderful the amount of little children that come up and say they enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't a lot of bigger children, but it was... <laughs> 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 Thanks very much. But it was... <laughs> How did you fly? Well, I flew, actually, with real tight pair of pants that made you realize why women played the part for a long time. <laughs> um, what was the coolest thing you got to play with in toys of all the stuff? Like oh, this? this thing. I mean, this thing was wonderful. They had a thing called the uh, smoking jacket, which is like it really smokes. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but I think most of all, this thing, if I could ever make it work right, I mean, I, I'm going to go back to it because... <laughs> I feel like I'm getting money for this. Well, you can take us to commercial. I'll tell them, meanwhile, okay, Toys opens nationwide Friday, December 18th. And taking us to commercial is Robin and his uh, hip-hop jacket. Hold on one second. <laughs>